Carolina Solari, uh, I'm from Padova. I've studied um, Chinese culture and language at Ca' Foscari University of Venice. And after a few years of studying um, around China, I decided to move to Shanghai and to live here. Now it's my fourth year here in Shanghai and I'm working. Um, the, experience is, the experience so far has been great. Challenging but great. So far in Shanghai, I had different working experiences all of them in quite different environment. Um, I'm now um, working for CARAT, that is a um, global agency, media agency, and my role is internal communication and creating company culture. The title is Corporate Development Director. Hello, my name is Nicola Giovannini, I'm 28 years old and I'm living in China since uh, 2012. Uh, I was studying uh, in uh, Kafosco University of Venice, uh, Chinese and uh, Economical Studies of Far East Asia. And uh, since I graduated, uh, then I moved to China because of uh, my job. I'm working at the moment uh, in Stevanato Group, it's a, a pharmaceutical company. And I'm a part of uh, the startup team of the Chinese factory. In here, I'm involved in the procurement, so purchasing department, logistic, and the supply chain. So far, um, I've for sure I, I met different um, clashes. One of the biggest one is the difference of communication between what is for us the communication and what is in a Chinese culture. For instance, the face-to-face -face and direct communication is quite hard. Uh, and they prefer all the time indirect communication. Of course, working with people, this one can be an issue because if for us, talking with them directly and explaining the problem can be a way to find a solution for it, um, not having the same kind of uh, attitude can, can be a clash. Uh, for my previous experience and for my current experience, this has been probably the main uh, challenge. Um, and I had also to adapt, of course, to their way of communicating. Um, another big problem that can be is um, the team spirit. Uh, I would say that they don't, they don't think about the team as we do, so even the way of communicating within the team is quite different. When I joined the company, um, one of the first and the biggest problem was that my company is quite big. Here in Shanghai we are more than 200 people, and we have a lot of different departments and the communication between the different departments is not easy. The communication within teams is quite hard and one of the biggest challenges is to create a team spirit within the company. So with my position I tried also to, to cover that and to bring some solutions to it. Being in China is, uh, is not easy and uh, it's not easy in the relationship inside the office. Uh, every time you speak with someone that actually uh, is, does not belong to your department, uh, you have to deal with uh, the same level management because otherwise it's not easy to go through and till the activities and uh, build up uh, um, a till building a relationship. Uh, it's, uh, it's, not, um, it's not simple. As, a, as I was telling you, uh, I'm, uh, I'm working in a purchasing department. It means that uh, I need to deal with all the suppliers. The local suppliers in China are... Uh, the, the suppliers in China are a lot. China is uh, one of the biggest countries in the world in terms of uh, economics uh, and uh, even society. They represent uh, one-sixth of uh, the other population in the world, so it's uh, a great market. And dealing with them is not so easy. We have a different mindset, a different concept of doing business. And uh, in, while in, uh, in the West uh, concept of doing business, the contract is, uh, is not an asset in the, in the relationship with the supplier. Because uh, in here, the most important thing is the relationship that you can build with the supplier. The relationship in this case, it's, uh, it's a simple word and uh, it's called Wanxi. And uh, it means uh, doing it. It means uh, uh, make a, a very friendship relationship uh, with uh, the person you are doing business, uh, and build up a sort of friendship. This friendship uh, uh, it's uh, is done through 
doing doing not a proper business means uh, going hang out uh, go to have uh, lunch uh, dinners uh, and have a drink with them but this is more important that stay on the table and discuss about price lists and so on so the relationship is completely different of doing business uh, in uh, in europe then uh, uh, another another thing that uh, uh, if uh, one of you wants to come here and do his own business uh, you need to, to understand that uh, uh, saying yes while you are doing something in Europe is different to say yes in China in here, when someone tells you yes I'm going to do that you need to check and verify if that thing is done it's not like in Europe that one, of you, one person of your team says yes and he will do that because you trust to that person in here, saying yes doesn't mean that this activity will be done. I would say that the best way um, is to create, was to create a fun culture in order to bring people together and to teach them a little bit how to communicate to each other. So I would say that uh, overcome the, 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 the clashes and the um, the more the ch Chinese style to, to deal with problem um, has been to create a multicultural environment and to hire probably a person like me uh, with a specific position of um, dedicating all the energies in order to create a better company culture. In, in here the company managed to hire a bo um, on both sides uh, Chinese people that uh, had experience in Italian culture, Italian language and had experience in Italy and on the other hand Italian people that uh, are able to speak Chinese and uh, learn about uh, Chinese culture in order to avoid the clashes uh, and uh, to manage uh, the best as they can uh, all uh, the people inside a company. Another thing uh, that you need to understand that is that China is a, a huge country. So even uh, dealing in an office with the people coming from different parts of China is not easy. Even Chinese uh, uh, has an issue to communicate uh, between each other. So for example, uh, I had experience in my company that was managed to make like a communication training. First of all, between Chinese in order to get together and uh, uh, see which are the different point of view of uh, different people uh, coming from different parts uh, of China. Even in Italy, people that come from the south and uh, people come from the north uh, has different point of view. In here is uh, even worse because the distances and the point of view are completely um, different. Apart from being patient, um, you need to know the language. So just knowing the language you can find a good job. More and more there are Chinese that can speak a really good English and also Italian and also other languages. So your contribution to this country must be big um, you must be ready to work hard um, and to have a different mindset. For all of you who wants to come to China and start an experience, a job experience in China, you need to understand that uh, the language uh, is important but it's not more an asset. People here is already has already good skills. There's a, it's full of uh, American people, uh, Chinese American people, people that speaks uh, very good English, very good Chinese. Uh, being Italian in here, it's uh, it's not really easy. If you want to come here, you have to have uh, different uh, skills uh, and maybe other job experience behind. China is a no more uh, a developing country. Uh, if you choose a big city like Beijing, Shanghai, it's, uh, it's uh, plenty of uh, skilled people. Uh, doing internship here it's, uh, not more, is no more a very good place to be done because uh, um, living here is, uh, is really tough economically speaking and uh, uh, culturally speaking. So um, here is a really challenging place uh, if you want to take the chance to um, make this experience uh, is of course worthy but uh, will not be the easiest uh, experience of your life.